Hello everyone, this is Mridula Bhaskar and welcome back to my channel after a long, long, long time. I know it's been quite some time since I posted a YouTube video, but I don't know somehow my heart is revolving around YouTube, not because I want to be a very famous YouTuber, but because, you know, it's such a beautiful platform to share so many things with all of you. And I'm back with a new background, with new lightings, and I hope this time I'm going to be posting often. So today's makeup look is going to be a very, very useful makeup tutorial. It's going to be a summer friendly, waterproof, sweat proof makeup look that I'm going to create today using very, very drugstore and minimal products. So if that's going to interest you, then keep on watching. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I post a video. So let's dive into the video now. I've cleansed my face thoroughly. I'm sitting here with a clean face. So I'm going to start off by using a good toner. So I've taken this Urban Botanics toner. Uh, this is the rose water, 100% pure and natural rose water. So I'm just going to spritz that on my skin. Whenever you're creating a sweat proof makeup look, you need to hydrate really well. That is key. So once I spritz that on my face, I'm going to take a beauty blender and just dab the excess product out of my skin. So next up, I'm going to spritz my face with the natural finish setting spray by Wet n Wild. I don't know why the pump of this one has gone for the toss, but it's a very nice setting spray per se. And again, I'm gonna dab out the excess product from my face. So that's dried up and my skin feels nice and tacky. So now I'm going to go in with a good moisturizer. I'm going to use the Pons Light Moisturizer Gel. This is a very nice moisturizer if you're looking for something very light. I'm not going to take too much of moisturizer. Okay, I'm taking that on my fingers and I'm just massaging that into my skin. It's very very important that each and every product gets sucked into your skin properly and your skin feels tacky at the end of it otherwise your makeup is just gonna slip off. So next up I'll be using a pore frilling primer by Stay Quirky. This is a very nice primer that I picked up recently. I've been loving using this and I'm gonna use this only in my T-zone. That is the places where I sweat a lot. I'm not gonna be using the product all over my face. This will give you a nice base for your makeup to stick onto. So I have a lot of pores here, so I'll just massage that over there around my laugh lines and in the center of my forehead. So the most important part of the sweat proof makeup comes into action now. So I'm gonna pick up the Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Light 15 and I'm gonna pick it up with a damp beauty sponge and I'm gonna just press it into my skin after the primer. So that's done. I have a layer of loose powder all over my face. Don't use a compact, use a loose powder. Once that's done, I'm going to take the concealer palette from purple to conceal all my dark spots on the face. I'm just blending everything out, especially under the eye. I'm going back with the same loose powder to set all the portions where I've applied the concealer. I'm focusing mainly on the lower part of my eye and then in the center of my nose, my forehead and in my laugh line area. And then I'll tap the powder lightly on the rest of my face so that there is a nice base created. So next up, I'll be using the Faces Canada Ultime Pro Palette. It's got a good uh, contour shade, it's got a good highlight shade and a blusher out there. So it's a very nice palette and very, very handy for everyday use. I'm first picking the contour shade and just to bring back some kind of warmth into the skin. So 
So I'm picking up the blusher shade. I'm going from the top of my cheeks. I'm concentrating the color maximum on the top of the cheeks. And when I reach here, I'm left with almost no product. So I'm just blending that into the contour so that it doesn't look like two stark lines. I'm repeating the same on the other side as well. Once that's done, I'm going to pick the highlighting shade with a small fan brush and highlight the high points of my face. So my base is done now, so next I'm going to move to the eyebrows and eyes, so let me zoom you in. So I've filled my brows using the Benefit Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil. You can uh, check out the video in the description box below if you have any doubts about how I fill my brows. So let's get straight to the eyes now. So I'm going to be using the same Faces Canada Ultra and Pro Palette and I'll be picking the contour shade with a nice fluffy blending brush. And I'll be putting that all over my crease and just above my crease. So I've, I've just put that all over my crease so that I can push the crease which is coming forward a little bit backwards and make it look a little more big. Next up I'll be using the blush shade and putting it right in the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm picking up the highlighter shade with a flat brush and I'm just placing it on my lid, directly on my lid. I'm going in next with a Nykaa Curl Power Mascara. So for the lips, I'll be using the Nykaa Mini Lipstick in the shade 26M. I will list all the products in the bottom bar below so that you don't have any confusion. one of my favorite lipstick shades. It's got a nice uh, nude brown shade. At the same time, it's got a very subtle undertone of mauve in it. So I just love this particular lip shade. I just added a small bindi because it's a traditional look and uh, we love wearing bindis, don't we? <laughs> so yes, as the final step, I'm just gonna set all this makeup in once again. Spritz the makeup fixing spray into my beauty blender. And I'm just going to take off the excess and dab it again all over my face. So I'm going to let this dry and I will just keep accessorizing meanwhile and I will get right back to test the makeup out. So we are back and it's time for the ultimate test. So I'm picking up the tissue paper over here. You can see it's absolutely clean. I'm just folding that up and you can see it's absolutely clean. The tissue paper is absolutely clean. This makeup is completely transfer proof. So next I'm going to test if my makeup is waterproof. So I have cold water. Okay, you can see I hope you can see. And then I am going to pick up a clean tissue and then and just wipe it out completely. So this is the portion where I wiped, like you can see. This is the portion where I wiped. It's absolutely clean, guys. So yes, my dear friends, that comes to the end of today's video. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you've learned something from it. This is an everyday makeup look, which is waterproof. But if it is HD makeup, it involves few other simple steps uh, that you will have to do so that we will cover in some other video. But uh, this video can be done on an everyday basis. It doesn't have foundation like you saw. It's very, very simple and very, very easy. Even if you're having a Zoom meeting or anything of that sort, it's very easy to do. So yeah before you sign off don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a video also leave your comments down below and let me know how, what you felt about this video i'll meet you in another video take care bye bye loads of love to you all